If there's one accessory that I would regret not bringing on a cruise, it is this one. After all, we use our cruise card several times a day. Now, even if you don't want to use a cruise lanyard, I have some alternatives for you so that you never misplace your cruise card. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewallcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now I have to tell you, I resisted the cruise lanyard for quite a long time and I honestly misplaced my cruise card many times as well. I can tell you this is a huge hassle. I have been in line at the guest services more times than I can count and at least I never did misplace it when I needed to get off the cruise ship, but in that case, it really could honestly even make you miss your shore excursion or worse. Now, whether this is your first cruise or you've cruised before, but you've never quite figured out how to carry your cruise card, I am gonna share with you all the information that you'll need to know about your cruise card, how to carry your cruise card, lanyards, as well as some really good alternatives. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative, or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Now, when you board a cruise, you are going to get a cruise card, at least on most cruise lines. I will talk about one cruise line that doesn't use the cruise card and what they use instead in this video. So you'll get a cruise card and your cruise card basically becomes your key card for your cabin, but it also is your method of payment. So every time you go and get a drink, you'll be using that or anytime you make any sort of purchase in the shops and so on. And as well, you might have to use your cruise card to check in to some of the shows, restaurants, etc. Now, every time you get off the ship in a cruise port, you'll have to scan your cruise card. And every time you wanna reboard the cruise ship, you'll have to scan it as well. So it really is important to have your cruise card very handy at all times. So let me start off showing you the lanyard that I use. I'll also show you what my husband uses because he doesn't like to use a lanyard. So the lanyard that I use actually has this retractable reel. I just find that really, really handy. And as well, it does have a clip so you can actually unclip it. So you can just leave this in your pocket if you want, if you don't wanna actually hang the lanyard on your neck. I don't always hang the lanyard on my neck, but when I do need to be a little bit hands-free, it is very practical. Now you can also purchase simple lanyards. Some of them are going to still have that clip. I do think that that clip is really, really handy. Um, because of course you can again just keep that in your pocket or in your belt bag or anything like that. Now on some cruise lines you're actually able to either punch a hole in it or they will punch a hole for you. We were recently on a carnival cruise and they already had a hole punched. So that is great if you have a lanyard that's hanging around at home, you can definitely use that. But most cruise lines will not allow you to punch a hole in the cruise card they say that it demagnetizes it or it doesn't work so that is something to keep in mind so you'll probably want to get a lanyard that does include a plastic pouch now there are some alternatives to lanyards i know that some people feel that lanyards remind them of work so if that's you there are alternatives that are really still very convenient so this is a phone pouch holder this is what my husband actually uses and he's used it on several cruises so you can see that it does work really well it's probably time for him to get a new one but basically he's able to put his cruise card here and i should mention as well if you like to keep a few dollar bills with you or a little bit of cash with you when you're going around the cruise ship maybe for some tips for the bartenders or even when you get off in the cruise port and you just want to have a few dollar bills handy you can also keep a little bit of money in the pouch or as well in the plastic card holder with your lanyard. Now, by the way, all of the items that I am showing you in this video, I will link them when possible down below in the description of this video. Now, this here is super handy. If you're wondering what do you do with your cell phone and your cruise card and maybe your ID and other things when you're on shore excursions, well, something that you could do, and I think that this is especially handy when you're on any water excursion, is you can actually use this waterproof phone pouch lanyard. This is really handy. You can keep your cruise card, your phone, of course, and any other items that are valuable, your ID, a little bit of cash. You can keep that right on you. Now, this waterproof waist pouch is another alternative. So if you're snorkeling, this could be something really handy. Being honest, we have never used this yet, but I know a lot of people really swear by this item. This is especially good if you're going to the beach and you're wondering, where can I keep items? Am I 
comfortable leaving my items on the beach. Maybe you don't have somebody else to watch them. So this is sort of good also, even when you think about just not wanting to get robbed on a cruise and having this with you when you are in the water, this could be something that really does prevent theft. Now, by the way, if you're planning a cruise and you're interested in keeping organized, I do have the Lifewell Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner. Now, the Lifewell Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner is a 47-page downloadable printable cruise planner that you can use for every cruise that you go on. It includes cruise packing lists, cruise embarkation forms, cruise outfit planning forms, cruise hotel planning forms, and more. If you are interested in checking out the Lifewell Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner, I will leave all of the information linked down below in the description of this video. Now, if you're going on a princess cruise, you're in luck because they have the medallions. Now, the medallions basically replace a cruise card, but they pretty much do the same thing. But when you board a princess cruise at the time that I'm filming this, they do still give you a thin lanyard so that works with that and as well they do sell some pretty cool accessories on the cruise ship you have a wristband that you could use you have necklaces you have clips all different items but you can also purchase items if you want ahead of time on their website and you can also look on Amazon I'll give you a couple of items below in the description of this video to choose from. Some people like to use that phone pouch holder. There is one that is available for the medallion. And the other thing that a lot of people do, and I guess it's a little bit of a hack, so to speak, is there are air tag holders that you can use. So for instance, a keychain or a clip, or even a little accessory that can go over your Apple watch strap. If you've ever used any of those AirTag accessories for medallions, please let me know how that worked out for you down in the comments below. I know that will help other people. A waist pouch, belt bag, or crossbody bag. Now, you might still wanna have your cruise card on a lanyard because it is pretty small and you don't want it to get lost, but something that my son has been doing the last couple cruises is he's really been carrying his belt bag around with him as he goes around the cruise ship, especially during the day. And well, this one is from Lululemon. I have one as well that I really wore quite a lot on my Alaska cruise. And I did purchase this one from Amazon as well. This is a pretty small one. So I think if you want something small and discreet, this is something pretty handy. And there are some larger ones as well on Amazon and I will link them down below in the description. Now I'm gonna leave the information about the Ultimate Cruise Planner linked down below in the description of this video. And I'd love to hear from you. If this is your first cruise, please let me know any questions that you have about a cruise card, cruise lanyard, and more. And as well, if you've taken a cruise before, please let me know how do you like to carry your cruise card on a cruise? Are you team lanyard? Do you have an alternative? Please let me know. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Bye for now. And happy cruising.